Well, what if you had a prompt that required multiple tasks and instead of coming up with that, we could have the agents create that for us. Today, I'm gonna to show you how we can teach AutoGen agents to do just that. Let's say you just have a user agent talking to an assistant agent and you just give them maybe a complex task. Well, you may get the answer or a similar answer that you're looking for, or maybe you don't because it doesn't quite understand what you're trying to ask of it. Well, instead what we can do is we can break down that complex task into multiple ones and sequentially tell the agent to perform each task. And at the end, ask the agent to create a recipe based on the task that they just performed. And now we'd have a better prompt or as what can be called a recipe that we can reuse with that agent later on. Instead of having multiple steps, we just have this one prompt now that it can easily understand. Now let's code it to see how it works. Okay, the first thing we need to do is create a new project. And when you've done that, open up your terminal and install PyAutoGen. And once that is done, go ahead and create a new file. I named mine main.py. The first thing is our import. So go ahead and import autogen and then also import annotated from typing because I am going to create a simple function to save that recipe to a file. And the next thing is I have three tasks that I want to perform. And then on the last task, this is where I want to create the recipe and the function is going to save that recipe into a file. Okay. And then we need to create the LLM config for the agents and you can just initiate it with this variable. I give the timeout of two minutes or 120 seconds. You can give it whatever cache seed you want. You can keep changing this so you get different results. And then for the config list, we get that from the OAI config list.json file, which I went ahead and created right over here. So if you haven't done that already, go ahead and create this file, open it up. And all we need is to give the model, which I chose a 3.5 turbo, and you want to give your API key here. And then I filter it out by the model. And then I give a temperature of zero because I don't want too much variation. And then I went ahead and created three agents. Two of them are assistant agents and another one is the user proxy agent. The assistant agents are pretty simple. I have one named assistant agent and another one named recipe assistant. And they both have the same LLM config. Again, you only give the LLM config to the assistant agents because they're the ones that are going to be talking to the LLM. And then for the user proxy agent, the simple name is user. The human input mode is never. So I'm never going to have any intervention with the LLM calls. Then for the code execution, it's going to create a folder called teaching under the autogen teaching directory over here once it's finished. And for use Docker, this is set to false. If you have Docker running, go ahead and set this to true. And here's the function that we're gonna be creating that's simply saving the recipe to a file. So it's just called save recipe. We're gonna create a new text file called new recipe and then write the recipe that we're given from the LLM call. And then finally, we're gonna initiate the chat. So we initiate the chat with the assistant for the first task. We initiate it again with the second task again with the third task. And then finally on the fourth task, like we mentioned, we're going to initiate the chat with the create recipe assistant, which is going to call this function once it creates the recipe to save it to a file. All right. I ran it. And as you can see, it created a teaching coding directory with all of the Python files and the chart that it created right here for me. And then also created the new recipe text for me based on the sequences of tasks that it performed. It proposed the following, which includes the steps, and the Python files that it saved over here. So if I try to run this again, I will get a similar result, but only with one prompt instead of having multiple prompts to initiate tasks with. And now, as you can see, we only have one initiate chat. I just simply read the contents from that recipe.txt file and give that as the message. Well, after I ran it, it gave me a new Python file for the GPT applications domain and also output a chart for me. All right, we just learned a way to teach our agents to come up with better prompts so they could easily more understand the tasks that they are given. This isn't foolproof, but this could give you a better chance of getting the results that you want. Thank you for watching. Every Sunday at noon, I give out a free newsletter I'll have down in the description as well as my GitHub. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section and I will certainly get back to you. Here are some more videos on Autogen. I'll see you next time.